I'm not sure who hired who. I can't tell if I hired Hallie or she hired me. <laughs> you know, he should not be telling people that. So we put the word out, like, look, we're looking for someone that really believed in the acting side of it and who was willing to give us the time to train her to be a little bit more on the action side of things. I wanted the transformation. I just said, well, can I go in and talk to him? Because I think he's just amazing. And I just want to tell him that I'm going to do this movie, and I just want him to meet me, because I think he should meet me. Dude up there. It was right after Christmas as we were prepping the show. I got a knock on the office door, and it was Hallie Berry. I'm like, hi. And she's like, hi, I'm Hallie. I'm like, I know who you are. <laughs> And I told him, I said, I just love this, and I said, I really want to do it. So if you haven't written it, why don't you think about writing it for me? Because I promise you, I, I'll kill it. And then a few days later, I left there, and he called back, and he said, OK, I um, want you to kill it. Just know you're not going to have a life for about six, eight, nine months. And it's not fun. It's fun for like the first week, and then it's the diet, the physical training. You know, we have this idea we want to do with dogs and farms. Great, sign me up. Some people say they want to do John Wick training, and then it starts. And then they're like, oh, this is John Wick training. And when Halle Berry said she wanted to do that, Chadwick said, here you go. And Halle said, thank you, sir. Can I please have some more? Probably the hardest six, seven months I think I've experienced in my professional life. 8711 is like a place you've never seen. There's so many stunt men and women there, and they're all of the Chad world, which is you work hard, you don't quit, you don't rest much, and if you're hurt, so what? You just come back and you do it again tomorrow. There's no room for complaining. It's just put your head down and do the work. She did a great job. Lots of punching, kicking, throwing guys in the air. All sorts of good stuff. Heidi Moneymaker. I think she was the key for me, because when I first started training, Chad was in New York with Keanu. And Heidi was my lifeline, and she started my training. We're really lucky that, one, Hallie has been very athletic her whole life. I was a gymnast as a kid, so all of this just allows me to sort of use all the things that I used to know, some stuff I still know, some stuff I'm having to learn over again. And two, she's such a hard worker. You have to start everyone at the beginning and give them a really basic foundation, and that's what we've done with her. But she picks stuff up really fast, and if she doesn't, she'll stay in it until she does. I would just not quit. And I don't think she ever missed a workout in the, in the five months. I learned judo, jiu-jitsu, gun fu, hand foot combat. The hardest part is, one, stamina. You know, sometimes we're in here four hours and just nonstop for me. So it's about making sure I'm eating right and staying hydrated. Because when you get really tired, you lose the ability to think and remember. And nobody wants to get injured. So it's about just trying to keep my energy level up for that long, because I really want to get it. There's always been a strong female character in the John Wick films, which I love. This time, her style is really similar to John Wick. They kind of come from the same place. She's a real assassin, and she's coming in here, and she's spending weeks and weeks and weeks training to become like John Wick. I had to learn to fight one like Keanu, and I had to learn to fight with him in very close proximity. And I think that was new for Keanu, too, because he was used to doing it all by himself. When I come into the movie, he has a partner that he's fighting with is trained very much like him. Things that he's really good at, I had to learn how to do. But it has a more of a female-driven spark to it. But I'm always thinking, at my size, how could I actually take this guy down? So that's kind of what we've done with Hallie, is like, OK, here's a bunch of cool throws, and what would actually work in a bar if I had to actually take down a guy? So that's kind of the, what we've done, is gone back and tried to figure out what a smaller woman could do to these big, tall, six-foot-four guys and really actually, in real life, take them down. Things that just not only are they needed for this movie, but they will serve me in life. She's been doing great with the gun foo. She's been doing great out at the range, you know, with live rounds. I don't think she really likes guns in the first place. The first session I had, I literally broke out in hives. I was so uncomfortable holding something so powerful and, and a bit afraid of it. What helped me was I connected to the thought that while I'll never own a gun, I have two small children. And if someone ever pulled a gun on me, now I would know what to do with it if I was lucky enough to get it away from them, you know? And with all of my other John Wick training, I might get it away. And when I get it, I have to know what to do with it in order to save, you know, my family. So once I connected to that was the reason I was doing this training, then I sailed. And I realized my first day of shooting that having trained for six months was essential. 
and getting through this process and not blowing up the place. They're willing to put in the time to become the character. Nearly worked really hard for months and months. It's just taking that time to constantly hone your skills, create new ones, just move on from there. And now I, I think I have the bug, like I just want to keep going and going and going and going.